Hello there people, this is Bruce McCall or Nintendo Bruce here, back again with another deck recipe for the Yu-Gi-Oh! 2013 September ban list format. And this is my version of my Dark Spirits deck uh, from the Deck Jewels Plus game, so completely different format obviously with the current ban list and so forth. Um, but yeah, I've changed a few things on here. For those of you that haven't seen my Dark Spirits deck before anyway, don't worry, I'm going to show you all about it. So, without further ado, I'll be going through the monsters, spells and traps and uh, going from there. So, starting off, because there's lights and darks, you have to have Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. You know, just no questions asked. You're silly if you're not going to run that. Um, Chaos Sorcerer as well, um, because you can be going through your deck quite quickly. Uh, don't worry too much that there's only five other light monsters uh, here. I say five others because I'm not even counting BLS here. But Chaos Sorcerer, if it's not working right or if your opponent is constantly negating certain things or getting rid of your light monsters, then feel free to side out Chaos Sorcerer, just as long as you keep this beastie in. One Cyber Dragon here, mainly for the special summon, but you know, 2100 beat stick, you can't complain too much anyway. A Dandelion, primarily for the tokens for tributes of uh, Hinokagasuchi and Yamato Dragon. Uh, one Dark Arm Dragon, because why not? Two Effect Veilers here. So again, another update to my Decade Jewels Plus deck anyway. Uh, Effect Veiler, this can work wonderfully in a few ways. Uh, it can work well with the Dandelion tokens in terms of syncing for Formula Synchron. Uh, again, you're aiming for another light there, unless I'm going wacky. Yep, that is a light monster, good stuff. Um, obviously, it negates the opponent's effects. Um, yeah, it, it's a light monster as well. So yeah, run two of those, um, but depending, you could even side them out, and I'll show you what for shortly. Three Hinokagasuchis, one of my favourite cards ever of all time, ever since it first came out. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's a spirit monster, meaning at the end of the turn it was either flipped face up or summoned, it goes back to the owner's hand. However, there are a few ways around that which I'll show you. Uh, but anyway, this little beauty's effect is, when it causes battle damage, whether it's being attacked or you attack, then the opponent discards their entire hand before their draw. Um, so yeah, it's awesome, especially if you're the one doing the attacking because uh, you just end your turn and then that wipes out their hand, whether, uh, whereas if they attacked uh, then they got the choice of setting a few cards first. But even still, look at its stats, 2800 attack, 2900 defense, beautiful, I mean you want to aim for this guy, that's why there's three, he is a, a game ender. One Marshmallow. Again, there for the light, but also just in case he's tribute fodder as well, so uh, definitely run one of him. Two Max C's. Again, depending on the opponent's play, you could side these out, but a lot of people are special summoning nowadays, so you probably want to keep these in. T uh, sorry, three Mystic Tomatoes there, two of one design and one of the other, but obviously the choice is yours. Again, keeps field presence, it's darks in the graveyard as well, and you know what, 1400 attack ain't too bad. One Plague Spreader Zombie. Uh, you can use this for the tuning or for an emergency monster to use as a tribute summon. One Thunder King Ryu, just because it's a nice beat stick to have really, and it's a light monster. Two Tragodias, again there for the special summon, and uh, bear in mind you can use its second ability where you can drag an opponent's monster from the other side as long as you can fulfil the requirements. Um, and then yeah, go for a tribute, but uh, yeah, only two of these unfortunately. And then one Yamato Dragon. I would love to have run a second one, but there just isn't a room. I mean, if you can't run Chaos Sorcerer, then change it for Yamato, I'd say. And its effect, very similar to Hinokagasuchi's in the way that it's a spirit monster and it has to cause damage. But when it does, you draw up to five cards. Or sorry, you have to draw up to five cards there. So uh, be careful if you've only got two cards left in your deck. Um, but yeah, beautiful card. And look at its defense, 3100. Not a lot of people are expecting this nowadays. I mean, come on, who runs Hinokagasuchi or Yamato Dragon? Honestly, me, that's who. Going into spells now. One Book of Moon, that's to help you out with your spirits as well as stop your opponent doing some nasty things. And sorry, I, I stopped my sentence halfway there. I meant stop your spirits bouncing back to your hand, not just stopping your spirits. Uh, one Dark Hole, because why not? Foolish Burial, aim for a Light or a Dark or a Dandelion or Plague Spreader Zombie, choice is yours. 
3 Forbidden Chalice. This beauty of a card, besides being a pain to your opponent, if you use it on your spirit monster, uh, after you've got its effect off obviously, then uh, it won't bounce back to your hand. And as long as it stays face up, it's just going to sit there and again, you're going to be able to activate your effects constantly as long as you're going to cause damage. So yes, definitely run three of these. Three Mausoleum of the Emperor. 2,000 life points might seem like a lot, but if it's for the sake of getting rid of your opponent's hand, then why not? Um, and again, it can help you out with the Amateur Dragon. Um, yeah, the opponent could use it, but barely anyone runs Tributes nowadays. Uh, the only people that do is usually Monarchs, really. Um, and you don't get the effects from using Mausoleum of the Emperor. So, yeah, there you go. Bonus. One Mind Control for sinking, essentially. Uh, an MST. One Pot of Duality. I would have loved to have run a second one because even though I talk about Synchros and BLS and all that lot, there isn't actually an awful lot of special summoning going on that you can do in your turn. Um, but yeah, if you do make room for it, then d don't run three. I'd think that's way too many. One Terraforming because that Mausoleum of the Emperor is important. Going into the traps, Mirror Force, why not? I'll skip over here, Torrential Tribute, because why not? Both of those are field clearing cards, which are just lovely. And then uh, the rest are three Royal Decrees and a Trap Stun. Very, very important that you don't let your opponent respond to your summon of Hinakagasuchi uh, or Yamato Dragon. Um, so you must negate their traps. In this format, a load of people are just setting cards left, right and centre with a ban of Heavy Storm and Giant Trunade and so forth. Um, so yeah, you want to stop people being a pain. Um, yes, they can still play quick play things like Shrink and Book of Moon, but Book of Moon isn't too much of a fuss for you because the monster won't go back to your hand. And you know what, there's barely any other quick plays played. So there you have it. And uh, that is the main deck itself. Beautiful, isn't it? Going to the extra deck now. One Formula Synchron, an Armory Arm, uh, TG Hyper Librarian, Catasta, Gaia the Force of Earth and uh, Sirius the Blue Wolf Star. To be honest with you, you can go either way here. I mean, choose your two most favourite five star monsters and two most favourite six star synchros. Two Black Rose, one Scrap, one Stardust, one Void Ogre Dragon, because depending, you can run out of your hand fairly quickly if you're just setting all the time, and especially if you side in the second Plague Spreader Zombie as well. Um, a 3000 attack, 3000 defence with a negate effect is lovely. One Mistworm there, uh, one Ally of Justice Decisive Armor, you know, just because you can use a 9 or a 10 star there. And then into the XYZs, I've only got one of a 3 star and one of a 4 star. Uh, what I choose is number 17 Leviathan Dragon, or, uh, oh sorry, and Gem Knight Pearl. Um, the only reason I choose Gem Knight Pearl over Utopia is just because there's a lot of Utopia decks out there now, you know, with the support and whatnot, and a lot of people could just grab your Utopia with mind control and just overlay it, you know. Um, that's my personal preference now. Um, but yeah, your choice of the two that you want there. Um, going into the side deck now, one Morphing Jar, not necessary, but hey, whatever, you never know. <laughs> one Neospatian Grand Mole, if there is that annoying um, monster that your opponent keeps on playing. Second Plague Spreader Zombie, bear in mind you can't just easily, um, or rather you can easily sink for eight if you want with it. Uh, sorry if you can hear that jingle in the background, my cat is scratching the hell out of my arm. Get off cat, thank you. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, what you can do is if you've got two Plague Spreader Zombies in your graveyard, summon them both out and then that's your tribute fodder for your Himakagasuchi or Yamato Dragon. Two Raikou Light Sworn Hunters, they can easily be swapped out with the Effect Veilers. Um, but yeah, problem solver card, absolutely beautiful. An extra Yamato Dragon, again remember what I said earlier on that you could side the Chaos Sorcerer into it if you wanted. One Crimson Blader, because if you see your opponent sinking quite a lot or special summoning high star monsters, uh, then yeah, of course, why not? It seems to be a side deck card that I love, so why not? One Allure of Darkness. One Forbidden Lance, if your opponent is a bit heavy on quick play monster affecting cards, uh, that will stop you, um, well, getting ruined in a nutshell. And even on Hinokagasuchi or Yamato Dragon, it knocks it down to 2000 or 1900 attack def um, reflect reflectively, rather. Um, so yeah, still do some damage and pull off an effect. One Sword of Kusanagi, you know, why not mix it up a little bit? Uh, with this one, it basically causes bleeding damage if you equip it to a spirit monster. So that is just Hinokagasuchi or Yamato Dragon. Going into traps, 
Compulsory Evacuation Device, Second Mirror Force for the Swarmers, Return from Different Dimension for the uh, Macro Players slash Remove from Play Players, Solemn Warning, and an Extra Trap Stun. Although, you've got to be quite unlucky not to draw into these uh, four trap stopping cards here. So, there we have it guys, my Dark Spirits deck. I guess it should be called something else in this variant, considering it's got light monsters or chaos spirits. I don't know, whatever. You decide. Anyway, as always, give the deck a go. Let me know your thoughts and pop your comments in the section below. I actually really enjoy this deck. I love making decks where people don't play these awesome effects anymore. Um, and wh why don't people? I, I don't know. Just because it's not meta? Whatever. Anyway, you guys take care, and I will see you again soon.